Rapper Eve Jeffers sure has come a long way from her humblest of beginnings in Philadelphia. These days, she lives in a gorgeous home in Los Angeles while also spending time at her and her husband's stately home in Notting Hill, London. We'll check out Eve's properties in LA and even where she stays across the pond in England. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Eve Jeffers, also known simply as Eve, is a rapper, singer, talk show host and more who's amassed a net worth of $10 million or more over the years. But things weren't always that way for the star. Growing up on the streets of Philly, Eve struggled not only to establish her musical talent, but simply to survive. At one point, she even had to work at strip clubs in the Bronx to make ends meet. But today, she's a Grammy Award winning rapper and singer who's successfully crossed over to mainstream entertainment, having started movies like Barbershop and been a co-host on The Talk for over four years now. In 2010, Eve began a relationship with British entrepreneur Maximilian Cooper, and by June of 2014, these two were officially married, at which point Eve became the stepmother to Max's four children as well. Since then, Eve and her extremely rich husband have enjoyed a stately existence, whether spending time at Eve's home in LA or Max's home in London. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where Eve lives, and you'll see that she's furnished her homes with chic and modern style. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before we jump into Eve's present day home life, I thought I'd give all of her fans a taste of how she used to live during her more single days. Prior to getting hitched to Max, Eve lived in a Mediterranean style home in the Hollywood Hills. According to property records, Eve first purchased this abode back in December 2005. She dropped nearly $1.8 million for the three story residence that measured 4,297 square feet of space and included four bedrooms alongside five bathrooms. This home is totally full of curiosities. To begin with, the front door acts as the rear door, which I mean, how often do you really see something like that? Once through the entrance slash exit slash whatever it is, the rest of the house opens up to a very wide and very beige hallway with stairs leading both upstairs and down. Up top, you can find the formal living room, which features a fireplace as well as a couple of arched glass doors that lead out to the terrace area. Not far from there is the dining room, where three pretty spectacular Balinese lanterns hang above Eve's former dining room table. That space is only a stone's throw away from the well-equipped kitchen, where beige and brown flecked granite countertops meet high-end stainless steel appliances and honey-colored cabinets. A large portion of the home features some pretty spectacular wooden floors, especially the family room, where Eve installed a large party-sized sectional couch beside a massive coffee table. Meanwhile, remember that terrace? While well, outside of Eve's former home, there's no grass, no swimming pool, no spa, nothing. Why? Because there's simply no room. Not long after meeting Maximilian, Eve would sell her former home in 2011 for reported $1.3 million. And while that may have been a bit of a hit to Eve's financial portfolio, when you're in a relationship with an entrepreneur like Max, you can eat a small loss. These days, after a long, hard day on the set of The Talk, Eve likes to relax with her hubby inside her new Los Angeles home. This house is under Eve's name, and Max, well, he owns his own house in London, England, which we'll get to in just a sec. So basically, these two lovebirds commute from one country to another to spend as much time with each other as possible. Of course, the recent pandemic has made this more difficult for them, and that's playing a large part in why Eve has recently decided to leave the talk to concentrate on starting a family with Max. When these two finally decide to have kids of their own, they'll be spending a lot of time in this Los Angeles home, the location of which Eve has kept under tight wraps. What we do know about this place comes from the tidbits she's dropped for us on social media. For instance, we know that her new living room features an eye-popping red couch where she shoots the majority of her content while under lockdown. And while we've only been granted the smallest of glimpses of her bedroom, it's evident from the beautiful bouquet of flowers behind her that Eve knows how to brighten her home with a much needed touch of color. She's also decorated the stairway of her main hall with heartfelt mementos of her relationship with Max. 
Stepping outside, her home is painted in a rich cream color, and while that might not exactly make it easy to pick her place out from the rest of the homes on the block, well, that bright red Ferrari sitting in her driveway is a pretty clear giveaway that yes, hip hop superstar Eve lives here. When speaking about the home life that she's managed to cultivate with her husband, Eve said, He's my homie, he's my friend. For some reason, we just have that core value of just being a hustler, working hard, believing in what you believe in, and making it happen. And he's a good person. Speaking of Max, why don't we take a look at the home he brought with him into this relationship? A few years before Eve would ever meet Max, the founder of the annual Gumball 3000 rally was looking for a home to call his own in London, England. That's when he spotted a rundown terraced townhouse, first built in the 1850s, situated in the neighborhood of Westbourne Grove in the world famous district of Notting Hill. Max proceeded to buy this home from an elderly couple for an astonishing 1.6 million pounds. The four story, four bedroom house was pretty much falling down at the time Max scooped it up, and it hadn't been redecorated since the 1970s. So the next year, Max enlisted the help of Australian architect Russell Jones to set about knocking the whole place down. They left only the exterior facade of the home standing. Speaking about his ideas for the place, Max said at the time, I wanted to create a contemporary home within the confines of a traditional structure. Although costs did escalate, it was definitely worth it. Now what was once a pretty ordinary townhouse is a sleek family home with six floors, 2,396 square feet of living space, five bedrooms, a huge kitchen located in the basement, and a 20 foot long patio garden and dining area. But it's the little details of his own design that excite Max the most. For instance, there's a 135 foot sliding door that covers half the width of the rear of the home and rises over two floors. This huge glass pane slides back with the touch of a button to conceal itself within another wall, allowing for the kitchen and living areas to open up directly to the courtyard. There are also no visible light bulbs anywhere in the house. Instead, strips of light frame doorways, floors, and mirrors. And even though that too was extremely costly to install, Max says it's worked out for the best in the long run as he's only ever had to replace one strip of light after years of living there. When all is said and done, it took Max two years of construction and millions of pounds to bring his dream home to realization. But as happy as Max is with how it finally turned out, he'd be the first to admit that the home, well, it gives off a very bachelor pad type vibe. And that wasn't something he was necessarily counting on. In fact, Max says that Eve immediately showed a great distaste for this place upon entering it for the first time. Max said, she hates the lighting in the master bedroom ensuite. So as you might imagine, that means that Max is now looking to move off this home and has placed it on the market for a little over 5 million pounds. To this point, there haven't been any takers, but I can't imagine it'll last forever. So now we've taken a look at the homes of rapper and talk show host Eve Jeffers, well, Eve Cooper as she now goes by, and what did you guys think? Which home was best, one, two, or three? While Eve may not have been a huge fan of her hubby's house in London, I gotta admit I am, and I wouldn't have any trouble spending time in that fascinating home. Though, I do understand where Eve is coming from with the lighting thing. A girl needs the perfect lighting setup. It really is that simple. I wish we knew more about her current LA residence, but if Eve's other abodes are anything to go by, we know she furnished the place perfectly. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on where Eve lives down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!